It's the NFC Championship game, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Washington. It's the Cardinals and the Commanders on Sunday night. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're on the road to the Super Bowl. Coming up, we'll close another Sunday of football with a great matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Washington Commanders. Hello to everyone watching. Joined by Brock Hewitt up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott. And in a while, we're going to find out the answer to a question that fans have been asking for nearly half a year at this point. Who is going to represent this conference in the Super Bowl? All of these coaches and players preach all season long, never look ahead. You can't do it, right? You've got to focus so much on the present. But you know that every man out there is so aware of what's on the line today and where they could be playing in two weeks. It's going to be a game-long challenge, no question, to keep the focus on the right here and the right now. Once you've got a win iced away, well, then you can start entertaining those Super Bowl thoughts and those Super Bowl realities. After getting this up to the 41. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Arizona. Out of the gun, a gift to Jones. He's contained at the line for no gain. It was Tyrell Johnson with the tackle. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and 10. Jones wants more. Oh, he drops a cut to the right sideline. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, well, the best of them take advantage of it. First down, and they go right back to him. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Snared by the running back, here's Trey Benson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Commanders with an extra DB out there to defend this third down. Operating from the gun, here's Murray. That's caught for the first. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's a Cardinals first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. First and 10, here's Jones. And they make the stop, but a lot closer to the end zone now. He got it to the 11. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. From the gun, it's Murray. This throw is caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Murray looking to throw. Catch is made in close. And in for the Arizona touchdown. Well, he couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. That one right down the middle. And the Cardinals will jump out to a 7-0 lead. The Cardinals kicking team out, and they'll put a charge into this one. Has this at the six. And 
pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by an elite runner, one of the game's top dual threat young quarterbacks. He was taken second in 2024, Jaden Daniels. And he doesn't have the advantage he usually does coming off a of bye week. Both these teams came in here well rested after a Sunday away. Of course, that means an extra week of prep work for this defense too. So he's got his work cut out for him to find ways to attack them today. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Brings up second and five. Let's go. Hey, hey. Check, check. Harris once more. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Give him eight yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Empty backfield now. The running back motions out left. Complete. It's McLaurin. And he's going to get past the 40 before he goes out. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. On first down, here's Daniels. That's McLaurin on the quick slant. And they take him down right along the 30. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, they go with Harris. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet. But let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So that brings up second down. From the gun, it's Daniels. He gets this one to McLaurin. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. And he's able to fight this down to the two. And it's a gain of seven, and that brings up second and goal. A gain of seven brings up second and goal. And he gets in. Touchdown! The Commanders finish up their opening drive. No doubt about that one, Brock. They soften that defense up with that lengthy opening series. And then the front just couldn't stand up to the run as they reach the end zone. Yeah, the numbers tell you, kind of just like baseball, you love home runs, you love explosive plays. But when you can play small ball and you can keep that defense gasping on the field, you can often run it right down their throats in the red zone. Sanders all set to send it away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Second drive of the game upcoming for this Arizona offense. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backward. Oh, he was on the move, and so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We're one quarter into deciding who's going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Both teams neck and neck so far. We'll return to Landover right after this. Back 
getting ready now for the second quarter. It's Cardinals football. They have second and pretty long here. Now a give up the middle to Jones. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. And for the Commanders, a fifth defensive back out there. They're going nickel on third down. Throwing with a blitz on the way. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. So on fourth down now, Blake Gillikin gets the call to punt it away for the Cardinals. Broke through the tackle. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Commanders and their running back about to get back to work. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Commanders will go on offense. First play of the drive, and he takes an option left. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Daniels from the pistol. Pass complete. That's Devin Duvernay. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. First down, ball at the 36. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Taken in by Harris. And he'll get it up to the 44. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and he netted some positive yards. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Going option, headed left on this first down. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And they will score. Touchdown, Washington. The Commanders take a second quarter lead. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Bronk. And there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough. Borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route, just like a receiver would. And it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. That one splits the uprights. And the Commanders break that tie and now lead by seven. Sanders all set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. Finds some space, he's past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Arizona offense about set to get going here. They've stalled out since that first touchdown, Brock, while their opponents have done the opposite. They've heated up, and their original seven-point lead, now a deficit of seven. It's an option right that begins this drive. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Hold on, hold on. Training staff out now for an injured player. And that looks like Kyler Murray, who they're headed for. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. First throw for the backup now. That one is incomplete, couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And now it's second down. 
They'll throw it. Has the connection to Jones. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the That's defense. Defense. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. They'll run here following the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it keep Free up the middle, and it's a breakaway! He does it, touchdown Arizona! The Cardinals can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Extra point is up and good by Shudak. And the Cardinals tie things up at 14. The Cardinals kicking team out, and they'll put a charge into this one. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. First and 10 now from the 30. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. First down play, nets and five. It's going to be second and five. From the 46. They get 22 on that run. And the commanders will have a first. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at selling to that defense. Now that's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and 10 now. Here's Daniels. Anticipated the quick staccato pass there. It's knocked away. Incomplete. And you ask a lot of your defenders on that field. It is not easy to play defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw, and he swatted it away with ease. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Third and just two to go. Trying to run it with Harris. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Offense set for a first and 10. From the red zone now. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. They give to Harris from the gun. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. We're at the two-minute warning of a high-scoring game so far. My goodness. It's the Commanders with third and five. Out of the gun, Daniels. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. You know, that is so hard to do. 
That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. Sanders all set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Murray here on first down. Connects with his back, Aaron Jones. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Cardinals in the hurry up now, racing the clock as they work to get set. This is reeled in by Wilson. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three. Jones reels it in. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Back to the air, Murray. Bails out of the pocket quick. Stepping up, and he's going to run. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Oye Maffei bringing that play to a halt. Finds him over the middle. And they take him down right along the 30. Arizona goes ahead and calls its second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. First and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Mm, that throw behind his intended target. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. That's complete to Wilson. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Commanders with an extra DB out there to defend this third down. Operating from the gun, here's Murray. That's caught for the first. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to tie us up just before halftime. I know. You always want to finish drives in the end zone. But no matter what, the important thing is they end in some kind of points. And that's mission accomplished there. And that one bounces through the end zone for a touchback. He's back to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. That's halftime. Only two quarters standing between one of these teams and the NFC spot in the Super Bowl. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman the and the first, EA Sports Halftime Report. The Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Buffalo Bills who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half. One of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's send it back over to Kate Brock. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all the even to this point. Team out. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big As play could turn out to be the difference. Coverage team gets him down the 26-yard line. The Commanders back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And they could take control of the second half early, Brock, if they break the tie on this opening drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Daniels. That's brought in by Luke McCaffrey. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Going to Harris to start the half. 
And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. New set of downs for him at the 38. Going to the ground again on first. And a decent pick up. They're going to have it up at the 43 after that run. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. Play fake here, Daniels. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's a 21-yard gain. And that'll be good for a Washington first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First down, ball at the 36. Running behind center with Harris. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Okay, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now is the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. Another run with Harris here on first. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Catch is made in close. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Harris. Can't fight past that line. They stop him at the three. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth. Will the Cardinals get to him here? He's brought down. And the pressure drives them backwards. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Cardinals and Kyler Murray set to take over. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Kyler looking to throw. He's got him. That's McBride. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the gun, it's Murray. Able to find Jones. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Third down, one yard to go. Throwing here, Murray. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. That one ends up a gain of six. And it'll be first down, Arizona. From the gun, Jones gets it. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Play action now. Murray. He puts some juice on a deep throw down the middle. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they're going to face third down. Kyler throwing here. 
Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. They are now set for a first and ten. They give to Jones, right side. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Not sure if it was a missed assignment on the line, a dominant play on his part, and maybe a little bit of both, Kate, but look at those dudes down there defensively. Man, they are fired up after that stick behind the line. The defenders are there to get him at the line. Stop made by Sam Hubbard. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. Now Murray. Throwing this back in the end zone. To the corner of the end zone, but incomplete. Oh, he made the catch, but didn't get down in bounds. This is an excellent job, Kate, right here by the defense to deny that big play and make them earn it offensively. If they want to reach the end zone, they're going to have to scrap and fight right through them. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that will tie things up in the third. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Return coming from the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. You've got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. This is Harris on second down. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. That's a pickup of nine. And the Commanders will have a first. Just a quarter left before one of these teams punches its ticket to the Super Bowl. This game remains tied after three, so we'll decide things right here in the fourth quarter. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Staying on the ground with Harris. And he's short of the first after a mild game. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Now an inside handoff to Harris. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Give him three yards. That's going to bring up third and two. Daniels from the pistol. They'll have the first down and even more. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 27 yards to move the chains. Man, yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They go with Harris on the run. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. This is Harris. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. From the gun, it's Daniels. 
Has it down close. And not quite a touchdown, but he's down to the four before going out. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Shotgun snap to Daniels. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders take a fourth quarter lead. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Extra point is good by Sanders. And the Commanders break that tie and now lead by seven. All set to send it away. On the return, here's Jones. He stopped on the return at the 27. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Kyler to throw. This is hauled in by Weaver. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 32. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Now Kyler. McBride hauls it in. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. The home teams returning their offense and this running back to the field. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Now Daniels off to play action. Mm, he misfired on that one. It's behind his man. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. On second and ten now, Daniels. It's taken in by Sinnott. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Third and a lone yard coming up. Early movement along the right side. The flag comes out. Ball start. Offense. So third down becomes much tougher for him as third and one becomes third and a much more difficult six. The penalty makes this a third and six. Throwing off the play fake here. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Kate, the game wasn't on the line with that series. <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down. Well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. Fair catch taken. Not the punt that they were looking for. Excellent field position awaits. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. Straight ahead they go with Jones. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Jones wants more. He breaks a tackle, and that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. First and ten, Murray. 
Jones reels it in. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Running right, this is Jones. He cuts it, and that's gonna be a touchdown! It's on the board for now, but will it stand? We gotta see what this flag is all about. Holding, offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Offense to the line for second down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. That pass is complete to McBride. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. They'll make a bid for it on the ground. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Now to throw. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Arkansas rookie. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. Out comes the commander offense for another series. That defensive stand might have been the final effort needed to seal away the victory, Bronk, but can't quite take off the pads just yet. Offense has to finish this one out. You know, a few things here, Kate, to keep in mind, right? You got to slow the game down as a quarterback. Take every second off the clock. If you're handling the ball, you guard it with your life, and you make sure your defense doesn't come on the field again. They just did their job, now you gotta do yours. Second down now, seven to go. Harris once more. Gets up the edge to the 35. A 19-yard pickup, and that's gonna move the chains. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. Commander's breaking out the victory formation here as he goes to a knee. The Cardinals are going to use the last of their timeouts. This won't run out the clock just yet, Brock. They're going to have to kneel it again after this one. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. So next to the nation's capital, it's a home win for the Commanders. And one last huge step has been taken, partner, as they claim that George Hallis Trophy is NFC champions. And now just one step and one trophy remain. Two weeks from now, when they take the field in the Super Bowl. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. It's a win for the Commanders, as with that, we sign off from D.C.